Okay, why the heck am I showing you that? I'm showing you that because that video <clears throat> kind of attempts to show how life has evolved on our planet. Now, obviously, it's not as simple as that because actually, organisms don't just suddenly change and become other things. They undergo a process called evolution and specifically natural selection. Now, any question that you're asked about evolution, natural selection, they all kind of can be answered in the exact same way. On the slide on the, on the screen, you can see the six steps you need to remember. Step one is variation. So what that means is differences. So among any group of species or any group of any population, there is variation. They are all different in some way or another. Even if you're the same species, you're still going to have differences. Like as humans are the same species, but we're all very, very different. Overproduction. Most organisms produce more young than will eat them then will survive to adulthood. Animals usually have loads and loads of um, young and not all of them actually survive. Step three, struggle for existence. Because population do not gradually increase rapidly in size, therefore there must be considerable competition. So there is competition amongst, within the species and amongst everyone. Number four, this is the key, survival. Those with advantageous characteristics are more likely to survive. So what that means is those who have features or ad adaptations to allow them to survive in their environment will be the ones who survive and then reproduce. So, I don't know, for example, if you had a load of a 10 lions and three of those lions were faster and stronger than, than the other seven of them, than the, other, than the rest of them, who would survive? It would be the stronger ones and the faster ones. And then what would they go on and do? They would go on and reproduce and then they pass on those features to their young and eventually over the course of many millions of years an organisms can completely change and actually become a brand new species there are steps in evolution in natural selection the survival of the fittest now whenever you see any question to do with this actually the answer is pretty much always the same thing but let's have a look at a question so here's a pretty straightforward one the theory of evolution via natural selection was proposed by Darwin. Um, explain how Darwin, um, explain sorry, explain how evolution occurs via natural selection. So how did it happen? Now, I'm going to start with the first one. What's our first step? There is variation. Variation amongst organisms yeah there's variation there's differences now what actually the bit which I haven't really mentioned is what causes these variations the cause of these variations are mutations so sometimes there are just random mutations in people's DNA in organisms DNA which makes them be slightly different so there's variation amongst organisms caused by mutations so what does this result in that Individuals most suited to their environment will survive, will survive and breed. Yeah, they'll have babies. And then, what does that mean? Is that those genes are passed on onto, passed on to offspring. Offspring is another word for their children. Yeah, so there's variation caused by mutations. There's differences in, 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 in all of them. Individuals most suited to their environment will survive and breed and then the genes are passed on which is how we get evolution how natural selection occurs the survival of the fittest the, the strongest ones will survive okay Darwin's theory was only gradually accepted give two reasons why now why did it take so long for people for humans to actually believe his theory because there's one, one, there's two reasons, but there's one really big reason. One is undermined the idea 
of God creating everything. You know, it completely goes against the theory of well the the idea of creation of how God created us all. If in evolution, we the theory of evolution, we're suggesting the fact that we actually evolved from primates. Another one, and quite an obvious one, is is not enough evidence at the time. So there just wasn't enough evidence. And there's a, there is another one which I'm going to include is that back then they never had any idea of no understanding of inheritance so what I mean by that is, is no understanding that genes are passed on that's why we look similar to our parents because genes are passed on we didn't know these things before okay we'll do one more use your knowledge of natural selection suggest three reasons the dodo may have become extinct so the dodo was a bird that lived many hundreds if not thousands of years ago why does in fact the whole fact that it's a dodo doesn't mean anything the question could just say use your knowledge of natural selection suggest three reasons why the why any organism may become extinct and remember do pause the video and have a go yourself first so my three reasons are disease could be one change in the environment the environment may have changed it may become more colder or wetter or hotter um, loss of food source could be one yep so the thing that they would have normally eaten might have died off or no longer in that particular area increased competition yep so competition from other species there's absolutely loads of them we'll do one more um what else can we have not adapted yeah to whichever environment it might be so there's loads of different options okay the last thing i want to go through is something called speciation now what the heck is speciation so if you look at the if you look at the um little picture you've been given you start off with a group of organisms so here here's my large population with a common gene pool so what that means is, is that these guys are all related they're all the same species what happens is is this is one example it's happened in a couple of ways but this is what they normally ask you is if they accidentally got split up well not accidentally if they chose one group chose to go that way one group chose to go that way there's a name for that that's called geographical isolation learn that so if anything to do with speciation usually caused by geographical isolation so they've been so these guys some massive mountain range one group's gone that way one group's gone that way now over the course of many thousands if not millions of years mutations occur on either side yeah they become different natural selection also occurs and millions of years later if they ever meet each other again this same this group now have become two completely different species not what they were initially so they were same species before and all that's happened is, is they got split up and natural selection has occurred for each group and he, basically each side each group have evolved they've evolved they've evolved and what that's resulted in is that if they were ever to meet again they have become a brand new species they're not the same so if they tried to breed they probably couldn't breed or if they did breed they would pr produce infertile offspring but remember this is our key you start off with the same group of people the group of people animals you know what i mean anything like that so they start off with the same group but they get split up that's called geographical isolation one group go one way one group go the other way evolution natural selection occurs on either side and eventually if they were ever to meet up again they become a new species that's called speciation speciation is simply when you become a different species